Hey everyone, this is Rob from Rob Rivera Photography once again. Today I'm going to be talking to you about battery grips on Nikon DSLR cameras. Um, I only have something, certain ones to show you, but I think it'll give you a, a basic gist because for the most part, once you get into the higher end cameras, you're probably not watching this video anyways. So I'm going to start out by showing you the, the Nikon D5100 series camera. Um, this is the 5100, good camera, nothing against it at all. Um, the bottom of it actually has the little battery uh, compartment over here and I'm going to show you how to remove that very quickly. Can I zoom in at this point? Sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, as with any of the Nikon cameras, you have the battery compartment here that opens up fairly easily, uh, exposing the actual battery that's inside. Now, if you want to put a battery grip on the Nikon D3000, 3100, 5000, 5100, the way to do this is first you need to remove this little door. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do that and they wind up breaking it off. All you have to do is hold it at a 45 degree angle and slowly you'll find there's one little angle that you can have that removes it. Okay, once again, okay, here's the door, it's on. Hold it at about a 45 degree angle, peel up and away, and you'll get one side off and then the other side comes right off. Okay, now once that's done, it will look like this for the 5100 series. Okay, now they do make off-market or let's just say generic uh, non-OEM battery grips like this. Um, they're good, don't get me wrong. Um, they have their disadvantages and I'll show you what they are. Um, first off, the way to put it on is literally to just slide it in, into place, lock it in by screwing this into the bottom plate. Um, you still have one for the tripod here, but um, it'll hold it in place nice and, nice and firm. Once you do this though, essentially you're rerouting the electricity into this little bottom compartment. This little bottom compartment can take two batteries, which is fantastic because now you've increased the amount of time that you can shoot. So we'll put those two batteries in, close it up, and we are good to go. Okay, um, no memory card, wow, shocker. So here we are, okay, now we have the, the almost assembled battery pack for the 5100. The problem is that there's no intelligent communication between the bottom and the body of the camera itself. The way that you would trigger, if you're shooting vertically, so you have the button here, it's not going to do anything. There's two different types of battery packs. One of them will have a little eye, uh, infrared uh, transmitter here that sends out the signal like your ML11 remote control will. Okay. Um, the problem with that is that you have to have the camera in remote mode in order for that to work. Now the other way to do it is to get one of these bottom units that doesn't have that little infrared sensor. Instead, it has this little uh, outlet on the side. This outlet on the side is definitely the way to go. They come with a small little cable right here that plugs into the GPS on one end and into the bottom compartment on the other, like so. Okay, is it beautiful? No. Does it work? Yes. Now that this is in this position, I can shoot vertically and it'll know that it's, you know, that it's triggering off. Okay, as you can see now this is this, this illuminated because of the fact that I'm squeezing the trigger. So this is a great thing to have. Disadvantages is that, you know, are the fact that A, you have this huge bulky wire coming out of the side of your camera. B, and more importantly, these break. And once they break off, you know, they're, they're not very durable, they're not very reliable. But again, you know, if, if, if you're starting out, you got a 5100, you want to start getting a little more professional, you, you're going to want to have a battery grip on the bottom. You don't want to be able to use, use that secondary trigger. And so, you know what? Deal with it for now. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Just be very careful. Make sure you remove it when you put it back in your bag. Otherwise, these will break. Okay? So that's how it works for the D5100 series, uh, as well as the D3000, 3100, 5000, um, all those consumer grade Nikons. Now, on the flip side, once you start getting to the D300, the D7000, it's a lot more user-friendly. Now, these have the battery compartment door and bottom, of course, like normal. You can put it, you can put a battery in there, no problem, and, and sure it works. Okay? You don't need to remove the door, though. It has this, usually it's rubber, there's a coating of rubber on top of it, but, uh, yeah, you take the rubber part off and it exposes all these little elements over here that will sync up with the battery grip on the bottom. 
I'm using a Mikey, it's M-E-I-K-E, -E. you can see the name of it here, it's an off-brand generic one, you can get these for about 40 bucks on eBay I believe, um, or if you feel like spending $150, $200 you can get the Nikon brand. These were perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with it, they're great, there's really no difference between them. So in order to put this on, you just line everything up, you line up your, your, your uh, pins there, put it into place, lock it just, as, just like you did with the uh, Nikon. 5100, make sure it's completely tight, and once it's in, you'll see a little green indicator come on, okay? Now, how do you change the battery? Sure, you have a battery inside. I usually don't work with a battery on the inside. I usually just use the one battery on the tray, and, um, and that's it. These batteries on the Nikon D7000 um, as well as on the D300 last a lot longer than they do on the lower series. So I really don't need to have two batteries in here, but you can. So once you have the battery in place, I'll show you how to remove them. Okay, you push down, drop it out, okay? Once it clicks, the position, slide it in, lock it, and you're good to go. You start firing away, okay? So that's basically the difference between having an intelligent battery grip and having a non-intelligent battery grip like a D5100. Um, I know that I was very much confused about this before I actually own both um, and hopefully this will give you some idea of how they work. Now again with this, uh, this battery grip on the T7000, another huge advantage of having this is the fact that I can shoot in the vertical, there's no wires, here's my button, I have a lock mechanism here so that I can turn it off if I wanted to. I have full controls front and back as well as my lock button here, uh, my focus point here, I, I have everything that I have when I shoot in the horizontal. So, this is one of the huge differences between the 5100 and the D7000. Yes, they have the same sensor, but when you start adding frills on there in terms of battery grips, GPS, everything else, they all work a lot better for the 7000. And uh, you can see it obviously looks a lot more professional and uh, it functions a lot more professional because you can get your options um, in terms of aperture and everything else a lot more uh, rapidly than you would with the lower series. So I hope this helps you out, and uh, check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Photography 